Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ken Dykewald. So we're here to envision the future. As some of you know, we're in the midst of a, a kind of a crazy longevity revolution. The effect of this is that if you look at the past 1,000 years and track the average life expectation, that throughout most of history, people didn't age, they died. And what you have to appreciate is this upsurge in longevity, which is happening all over the world, has never happened before. Everything about this is new. Everything about this is a new challenge. Unfortunately, we're living in an era where there's a huge amount of ageism. And partly what that causes us to do is to not see people over the age of 50 in terms of who they actually are. What's happening right now in the marketplace in America and around the world is that people over 50 are becoming the people with the most amount of money to spend. This is a market phenomenon that has never occurred before and the power of it is unrivaled. There's another change coming due to demography that I'd like to point to. This is the chart of the 1950s. It shows you each of the demographic segments, which ones grew, which ones shrank relative to themselves. And in the 1950s, obviously, there was a baby boom and then a teenage boom. And as you can see, there's a pattern here. As we move through the decades, different stages of life became swollen with people and the products and services and, and institutions designed to marry up with people at that stage in life expanded and stretched and grew and innovated. It's the next slide that I want to prepare you for. I'm going to click this device and show you the way America is reconfiguring demographically between 2010 and 2030. People over 50 are 44% of the adult population, but by 53% of all the dollars spent on airline tickets, 56% of new cars and trucks, 56% of all the expenditures on lodging and hotels, 63% of out-of-pocket health care, 67% of all prescription drugs, 71% of savings accounts, 76% of the total net worth. Overall, this is a power segment of our population currently. I know there's a lot of focus right now on AI. I've always been captivated by II, imagination intelligence. You know, what are we gonna look like in the future? How are we gonna feel when we're 90? What's the future of being a 65 year old? Will retirement even exist? Can we begin to imagine all the products and services that are gonna be needed by this age wave revolution? It's a big mistake that a lot of demographers and marketers make. So they assume that because I'm growing older, I'm gonna become a senior like the last generation. So the magic of it is you gotta figure out who I am now, but even more importantly, who I wanna be in the future. Because you're in the linking me to my future business. Nobody envisioned a longevity revolution was going to really happen. So we built the world for the young. We built the language for the young. We built the medical system for youth. We built the way we think about the end of life or retirement to sort of be a tag on to a youthful life. And in many ways, longevity is humanity's new frontier and we are the pathfinders.
I couldn't be any more proud that as Age Wave embarks on its fourth decade, that our reach in the world seems to be multiplying, that our content is exploding, that our topic is current now. It's not just some futuristic thing, it's right now. How do we deal with this Age Wave? And yet every time I get up in front of an audience, my thought is, I want everybody in the room to think, that's the best damn presentation I've ever experienced. Thank you for letting me be with you again today. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be with you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.